Hey guys, welcome back. This uh this video will focus on check your flip flops, uh which is an improvement over SR flip flops. So if you haven't already seen the last video about SR flip flops, I highly recommend that you go and see that. Um because if you know that it will be a lot much more easier to understand this. So JK flip-flops have an additional clock input over SR flip-flops. Um, the clock input is used to synchronize the inputs of J and K. J which stands for set and K which stands for clear. So JK flip-flops are active high. So if uh, my J is 1 then Q will be set to 1 and if my K is 1 then my Q will be cleared so it will become 0. Now, NAR and NAND based JK flip flops have the same truth table. They're really similar. Uh, this, uh, I have drawn here a NAR based as JK flip flop. Um, J stands for set, K stands for clear. This is the input for J over here. Um, and K is over here, right? The clock pulse is used to synchronize the inputs. So, in here we have three inputs. Uh, versus SR flip-flops where we had just two inputs. We have J, K, and the clock pulse. So if you would have seen, uh, in J, K flip-flops are an improvement over SR flip-flops because uh, SR flip-flops have an invalid combination of S and R, where both Q and Q complement are the same. J, K does not allow for this. In J, K, Q and Q complement uh, does not have the same value. All four combinations for J and K are valid. Um, it uses a clock pulse for synchronization and helps, uh, hence it allows for this. Uh, what you can see here is the diagram for a null based JK flip flop. Uh, just go through it. You don't have to actually remember it, uh, the whole diagram for CIE, but, uh, just go through it once so you understand what's going on. Okay. So, um, let's look at some points. Uh, so, I, I, ha I will not be drawing the NAND based JK flip flop because it's quite similar. Just, uh, just change the NOR gates over here and here to NAND gates. Uh, one more thing, in the CIE papers you might actually get different diagrams for JK flip flops. Just remember that um, you can notice the difference between SR and JK. The flops if you have a clock pulse. So if there is a clock pulse in the your diagram, uh it's definitely a JK flip flop and not an SR flip flop. Okay? So some points about uh JK flip flops, they are active high. Uh which means they respond to inputs of one. Uh zero and zero cause no change in the value. Uh, input of 1 and 1, however, uh, this is not something we saw in SR flip-flops. 1 and 1 will cause uh, the bits to flip. So I think you'll understand what I'm saying um, when we do the truth table. So basically, if you have an initial... Uh, output of 0 and 1 and right and uh, there is some s and r value over here there is some input over here that's giving you an output for this q and q complement now uh, if i add 1 and 1 over here it will simply flip the bit so if q is 0 it will become 1 if q complement is 1 it will become 0 okay so um, j to true which is uh, if J is 1, sets Q to 1, and K to true, sets Q to 0, okay? So let's look at the truth table. Um, okay, let's take some initial values. Uh, I will just be taking 0, 0, um, clock input as 1. And Q as 1 and Q complement as 0, obviously, because they cannot be the same. Now, our next input is going to be 0 and 0, okay? 
0 and 0. The clock input will be 1. We do not change that. Um, so what happens with 0 is the value stay the same, right? So Q and Q complement will also not change. Next, we will be setting J to 1, right? J is set. So if we set J to 1, that means clock also changes to 1. Uh, that means Q also changes to 1. But Q is already 1, so that won't change. Uh, so nothing's different here, but if in this case. Now, if we are setting k to 1, now in this case, q will change to 0 because we are clearing the value, right? It stands for clear. And k is true. So we are clearing the value and q becomes 0. q complement is always uh, the opposite of q, so it becomes 1. In the next case, um, uh, let's, okay, now let's take J again as one, okay? Uh, so what happens here is Q is set to one because J is per set. Uh, just giving an example. Let's take some new initial values, right? Uh, to work on. So don't worry about the initial values. They will, uh, obviously be giving that in the paper itself. Zero, zero, and one. So Q will be 1 and Q complement will be 0, right? And now I'm taking the input for J and K as 1 and 1. Okay, so my J is 1 and K is also 1. Clock always stays the same. Clock is 1. So in this case, Q will flip, which becomes from 1 to 0. Q complement also flips. It becomes 1. So guys, actually, uh, this is almost everything you need to know about JK flip-flops, right? Just go through the truth table, do it for yourself, one, take some values. Um, if you want, you could solve the logic gate itself, but it'll be pretty lengthy. And I really don't recommend you to do that because it uh, you will tend to make a lot of mistakes over there. So guys, I will actually be putting the notes down for this uh, SR and JK flip-flops in the description. If you want Make sure to go through that. Thank you so much. See you later.